Keep watching Charis TV. Greetings, greetings, viewers all over the world. My name is Mlungisi Ngoenya. I'm from Ladies Meet in KZN. Um, two weeks back, I was here uh, concerning the, the new relationship that I'm in now. Um, I met a man of God and he addressed some issues that we had in that relationship especially for me i wanted to have a confirmation and i didn't know that there were also issues on the lady that i'm with in a relationship but all that the man of god exposed it and the spirit that was behind actually and the man of god confirmed everything so when i went home um, and explain to the new lady that I'm waiting in a relationship um, and what the man of God has said everything and she also confessed on her side about the things that she was doubting even me on my side and we thank God that the issue of the relationship was resolved and we give God all the glory once again I came back today um because i wanted more i wanted more when i've seen god working yeah doing this miraculous thing in my life so i knew god wanted to speak or to say more about my life so that's why i came back again that's why i'm here because i believe in this grace i believe in what god is doing at charis so today men of god also mentioned the things that i've forgotten uh, one of those things is uh, there was a business that I was doing um, regarding the logistics. I was studying it, uh, ended up abandoning it uh, because it was demanding a lot. Another time I was working, so I just left it like that and I continued with the other businesses. But those other businesses, unfortunately, it did not work out. But this one, I was surprised when the man of God brought it again. Yeah, I thought it was an issue that was dead. I was looking something new. Uh, you know, I was surprised, so surprised, so surprised. But I'm so glad that God also revealed and instructed me actually to go back to that business because that is where the grace of God is. I'm so glad about that, that this issue was brought up again because I wanted to maximize or to improve my finances. I wasn't aware at all, aware, aware, aware. Um, another issue was the issue uh, regarding the job because since I resigned, I didn't want to go back <laughs> to work again. But he, man of God, was asking me if I'm still interested. Uh, as I'm saying, I think two weeks, two days ago, yeah, there is a, a municipality or a company, if I have to say so, where they released the post and I could see that some of the positions that were advertised, I really qualified there and uh, I've got a lot of experience. So I was so interested to come to go to apply for that post. I was surprised. Uh, I was so surprised. So now my issue was should I apply again? Should I go back to work again? Um, so the man of God also brought that into the light. I am so glad. I'm so glad. You know, you may have decided, no, I don't want this thing again. But God may have other plans for us. You know, so I'm so grateful. So I'm grateful. It's also another plan of maximizing the finances so i'm so glad that god also brought it through prophetically and i um, believe that i've received the job um i'm so 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 grateful uh, another issue that the man of god uh, i think that one is the major one is the main reason i'm here really is the issue of calling yeah that one i think is the major one 
yeah because i was like i want to go for business or and do calling or going back to job and do calling so i was so a little bit confused there so the man of god clarify everything yeah i said no i'm now i must focus i'm already praying but i must go deeper 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 so it was just another confirmation you know to have more time with god and go deeper and then the calling itself would just come yeah so i'm so grateful uh, for such a great man of god especially in charis to reveal that in my life and uh, to calm things you know when you're giving an instruction what you should do and the thing on, in, on its own which has come so that is a uh, something because this thing they make you panic you know yeah you end up losing other opportunities that are passing by and you should have grabbed them yet there is too much focus on this thing yet god time was not yet yeah even though it's so close but i thank god that he ironed it and he made it clear and i'm so glad that he welcomed me uh he just said no do not be stressed on that one yeah let us fix first the issue of finances let us raise them let us raise the bar actually yeah so i'm so so grateful to be here yeah i give god all the glory your calling will come mm. keep on coming here we pray yeah come here we pray mm-hmm. i believe things will fall into place yeah come Jesus, we use them as a tool to set the family free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. We are free. The scripture, I think in the book of Colossians, chapter 1, I think the last verse or the second last verse, um, at the end, it says, well, it was Apostle Paul saying, we present every man perfect in Christ and there is another script the verse that we normally use here at Charis when it says the grace of God has appeared to all men so the grace of God is for everyone it doesn't matter where you come from who you are how many mistakes you've done in your life or how good you are it doesn't matter this grace as we say here in charis there is grace this grace is for everyone so wherever you are you're a businessman you are in ministry or whatever you do in whatever where you are in the field uh, this grace is for you it's for everyone so everyone is encouraged to come here even me i'm coming from another Minish, but I came here because I know this grace is everyone. So everyone here is invited. Yeah, is is invited. Is the opportunity that God has opened for us. Yeah, you don't have to say no. I'm coming from this church. It's where I should be stuck. If that grace is not available here, then in that church you are also encouraged to come here. It's not like you are coming here to join the church. No, it's just you are here so that you can benefit from this great yeah so i would like to encourage everyone yeah to come here charis the grace is available and it is we always see uh, marvelous testimonies yeah. even people who don't fellowship here are uh, coming from different ministries uh, congregation yeah the testimonies that we hear even the pastors themselves they come here every week yeah to receive this grace so i don't see any problem i don't understand why you don't come here so this is the opportunity that god has opened for everyone to come here to receive the grace so i would really like to encourage you to come with everything that you have um the lord will meet you